Hey everyone, in today's video I'll be reviewing two products from the Body Shop and they're both from the Himalayan charcoal line. So what I'll be reviewing is the Purifying Facial Soap and I'll also be reviewing the pur Purifying Glow Mask. So if you want to hear how these both work out for me, then just keep on watching. The first product that I'll be reviewing is a purifying facial soap and this is great for normal to oily skin. And with this product, it removes impurities and also leaves skin feeling clean and it reduces excess oils. So for the instructions, it says to use once to twice a day depending on skin's needs. And it says to rub in hands with water to lather until a smooth foam forms. Then you just want to apply the lather to your face and just gently massage it in. And I made sure to also rub this on my neck as well. And then afterwards, I took my Quo cool makeup removing cloth and I made it damp with some warm water and then I just wiped all over my face and this was very gentle and it did a good job. And then afterwards I just rinsed off my face and I just pat it dry with my towel. And overall I loved how the soap made my face feel. It was very clean and soft and there was no irritation or stiffness and my skin looked amazing. And then afterwards I followed up with my Pixie Rose Caviar Essence and this is a weightless serum which melts into the skin. It nourishes, it hydrates, softens, restores and tones. And this has a great formula and I'll definitely recommend checking it out. The next product is a purifying glow mask and this helps to absorb excess oils and this also has green tea leaves which has lots of benefits to protect and treat skin. So to apply the mask I always love using a brush and this one is from Quo. And with this mask I like to use it in areas that I have any blemishes and basically I just like to target any oily areas in my t-zone. So with this mask it has a tingly sensation and it also tightens so I don't put this all over my face because I find that in any sensitive areas since it does dry down and then those areas tend to feel a little bit uncomfortable so I just like to stick to using it in the areas like I mentioned and then I let it dry for about five to ten minutes and then after I just wipe down my face with a wet cloth and then I also rinse my face and overall I just like how this mask does a good job at exfoliating my face and it leaves it feeling smooth and fresh and then afterwards I follow up with my Aveeno Max Infusion Drops and this evens tone and texture it leaves a dewy glow and also makes my skin feel soft and soothed. Overall, I really like how this mask worked out for me. And the thing about it is that this has been my go-to mask whenever I'm on my period and I have any blemishes or breakouts. This has been working very great for me and I'll definitely recommend checking it out. So if you want any more information about it, just check the description box below and don't forget to comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!